Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I am Neuralex and this is going to be my reaction for episode 3 of Invincible called Who You Calling Ugly? If you are new to Neuralex Live, please subscribe. You can even click the bell to make sure you do not miss my next video. So we got introduced to the GDA who are investigating the murder of the Guardians of the Globe. Invincible defended the city against aliens and became friend with Adam Eve, who is also a student at his school. And finally, after a third attack by the aliens, Omni-Man intervened, went through the portal and completely destroyed their civilization. Who are you calling ugly? Here we go. Oh my god, is that the Guardian's uh, funeral? Wow, the very man who killed them. Today, we have lost titans, protectors, heroes. Who will save us now? I will. New heroes answering the call. All inspired by these great souls. Such an inspiring speech. It would be perfect if he was not the murderer. Have faith. And look to the sky. I hope they will rest in peace. But at least they will rest together. Joseph is finally standing still. And I still can't see him! I'd better... Yeah, this could happen to the Guardians of the Globe. It means that none of us are... Invincible. Good cue for the title. Saw nothing, heard nothing. Attacked in darkness. Left for dead. Are you insinuating something? <sighs> if you remember something, I'll call you. I know you've always been independent, but I want you to come work for the GDA and build me a new Guardians of the Globe. Oh. Forgive me, but would Omni-Man not be the natural choice? He's never taken orders. Not from me, anyway. Then I don't know what to say. Easy. Say yes. You will have moments of doubt. We are left to wonder. What? Yeah, that's pretty much what? all that's Do on what? TV. Hang out, go buy comic books. After this? Hey, watch the tone. The mistakes, even the victories, you can't bring it home. Can I go to my room? <sighs> sure. Hey, we'll do some more training tomorrow, okay? Just you and me. I don't like his aggressive tone. Mark and I can do more good out there than sulking in here. Just remember oh my God, that is so weird. And I don't want a broken family. Oh shit, huh? The whole place is bugged. I feel the GDA might do a move on Mark to try to catch Nolan when he, you know, when they realize it's him or it might be him. Mark? From school? <laughs> I know, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I was thinking finals are coming up and we're both in Miss Walker's Global Issues class. Maybe we can go over everything together? Well played. Safe and responsible, no pressure, but with potential for things to move to the next level. <laughs> Smooth. Smooth. Works for me. When and where? Not bad. I thought you were at the funeral. I was. I'd say you should have been there, but it's pretty bleak. Oh my god. She's so having an affair with the explosion. You piece of shit. Babe, wait, hang on! Oh, God! Are you kidding me, Kate? I, I can't believe this! <laughs> They're not even the real Kate! We're all the real Kate. Rex. You know what I mean, right? Rex! You suck. <laughs> Those of you who pass our trials will be among... Big guy! She's gonna flip you off. She's gonna... Let's go, Eve! Oh! What's up with her? No idea. Uh, 
<laughs> Whoa. Oh, she switch she's changed the size. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. The new guardians of the globe. Black Samson, Shrinking Ray, Monster Girl. She's adorable. Oh man, you're gonna like an age requirement? Rex. I don't know. You're here. Isn't there a dick size requirement? I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody ought to teach you some mother. Guess you missed my tryout. Yeah. Eee boy. Yeah, adorable little girl. You little bitch. Now that's adorable. I'm <laughs> uh, is this okay? He asked for it. He kinda. But maybe you should stop the big okay, guy. Enough. Get lost, Boy Scout. I said enough. Oh. Who you calling Boy Scout? The kid thing sets me off every time, and then it's like rah, beast mode. Sorry about the dick joke. I'm sure your junk is awesome. <laughs> As I was saying, welcome to the Guardians of the Globe, Monster Girl. Gonna ship blood. Along with Rex Plode. So Rex Plode made it. Adam, Eve. And Eve. You all. I can't be on the same team as Rex and Kate. Rex, what did you do? Uh, What's going on? Rex cheated on me. What? With duplicate, all three of her. All three of her. Whoa. That whoa. <laughs> That's a foursome. I'm sorry. Thanks. Breakfast is at 6 a.m. Then close in combat exercises until lunch. There is no universe in which I wake up at 6 a.m. and the world isn't on fire. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Maybe if you didn't lose your powers, you might have been there to help the Guardians on their last day. Oh, I'm gonna assume that was a joke, and I don't need to beat your ass until all you want to do is call me Dad again. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm new to this whole team thing, but I thought it involved teamwork. Yeah. Call me when you figure it out. Man, can you kick Rexplode out, and he gets on my nerves. Good first day, robot. Um, Go, Team Spirit. Whenever I transform, I get younger. It's part of the curse that gives me my powers. Oh. I'm 24 years old. Lame, so... If you don't want to start changing my diapers, three exercises a day are too much for me. Oh. Try having a normal relationship looking like this. The guys who are interested are either going through puberty or popping up on sex offender registries. Uh. <laughs> How can you understand? You're a robot. Oh my god, enough with the robot remarks. Pathetic. This has gotta go. Pathetic? She's also into spicy foods, stand up comedy, and fourth wave feminism. I read her file. Fourth wave feminism? What is that? Ding dong. Your friend is here. <laughs> yeah. I figured we should start with global issues and then move. Sorry. I think you have to answer. This should do it. So Miss Walker says we should focus on the. Um... I'm gonna run and use your bathroom while you deal with that. Yeah, uh, down the hall. <laughs> on the left. Uh, yeah. What's going on? Whoa! <sighs> Christ Almighty! I didn't think she would ever leave. Oh, you want to be a superhero, right? Fame, glory, get the pretty gal. I mean, that's sexist, but okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't even work for you. And you never will. Not unless you show a little respect and decide if you want to be a superhero or not. In your face, Mark. Right here, so we can talk on the go. Eve's going to be there? 
Or did that just sweeten the deal? What? No. No. <laughs> and ah, uh, I forgot. I promised I'd help him with this thing. Um, uh, he's going full Peter Parker now. I brought snacks. Mom. He made himself a pair of earthquake gloves. What's he want? Even he doesn't seem to know. He basically gets a concussion every time he uses them. They're basic mad scientist deal. Wow. He must be very aggressive. Oh boy. Yeah, he looks like he got a few concussions. Bow before Doc Seismic. Oh, he's gonna crush everything. I'm still working on my one liners, but that one is really bad. <laughs> It's kind of crazy what he can do with it still. Look at the costume they've got you in. Talk about pandering to gender roles. I designed my own costume. Oops. Doctor, it was in seismology. Undergrad in sociology and women's studies. I had a minor in African dance. Very nice. Maybe not that nice. Oh, what a save by Eve! It's kind of crazy what she does with her powers. Oh my god, let's go! Oh shit, yes! Nice, nice! Oh! Oh shit! Damn it. I should have spent more time working on the jet. E boy. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Wow, that guy is toast. Oh, I see. So like none of these. <laughs> I gotta go. I, I, I'll talk to you later, Eve. Thanks. Welcome. I got You left a girl in your room while you flew off to deal with a crisis. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Good. That's the tricky part of the job. Balancing what you want to do with what you need to do. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Dad, you got a little... Mm -hmm. You got a little what? <laughs> <laughs> Static? I've been sitting here for an hour. I know. You're the first one who stood there and took him. I wanted to know the kind of guy that would do that. So what now? Oh. I finished all the review questions while you were off sipping a world or whatever. Uh. <laughs> First time I've seen Omni Man on the ropes like that. It might not be dead. Huh. Put it on ice. You never know when something like that might come in handy. What, <laughs> like Omni Man? <laughs> like what, Omni Man had a hard time beating this? Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh. I screwed up. I know I did. I just, I just, I don't know why I keep doing this. I don't want to. You screwed up? You had a foursome. Give me a do -over. Just this one time. I'll be better. Good luck with the new team, Rex. And that's a nobody. And of course, you're creeping out at Mark's place. Good for you, Mark. Uh, she takes it kind of well. You know the drill. Oh, Thursday. Chicken pot pie. Is he the clone or the original? Oh, 
shit. Sorry, Pete. Wow, okay, that was... But who's the... Uh, who's uh, breaking them uh, up? <laughs> Look at the other one. As the original article, my intellect's undiluted <laughs> by the cloning process. Of course. Uh, say it. Uh, <laughs> say it I'm the clone. Yes, you are. Big escape. But who is letting them escape or helping them or what? Nice run the jewel song. Too bad I won't be able to put it on YouTube. We have a benefactor, it seems. Uh clearly. Oh yeah, that's in the middle of the desert, big time. Looks like Nevada or something. What now? I'm surprised you don't see it. You being the original and all. Oh! Oh my god, he sacrificed himself. <laughs> so, give me an update. We still have work to do, but I feel confident in the progress we've made today. Whoa! Whoa! Why did. Whoa! Oh, it's the detective. What are you doing in my house? Seeking information, clues, answers. Seven dead, one alive, your husband. You have a lovely home. Debbie? I thought I heard something. What? I was just coming to bed. He's not buying it for sure. He's not buying it for sure. Oh boy. It's getting, you know. I don't know why and how and when. But when they discover that Omni-Man did all this. You know, like Mark, his wife, the GDA, everybody, the world. When they're going to discover he did this, it's going to. Uh, it's going to be the biggest mess of all. And why is Robot letting the clones go? Like, why? Does he, you know, I don't know. Is he creating a problem for his uh, new guardians to solve? Or I can't believe he's low-key another villain. There must be a reason, right? And I say another low-key villain. Like, we don't know why Omni-Man did that. But still murdered the guardians. And now Robot is liberating monsters from like a supervillain prison or something. Wow. I really like that part with the addition for the Guardians. We saw uh, several different uh, heroes uh, with different powers. It was a lot of fun. That girl that transformed into the Hulk and but gets a bit younger each time she uses her power. It's kind of... It's, it's a fascinating thing. Like, I would do a whole comic book with a story like this. So, three episodes in, I gotta admit, uh, Amazon is kicking ass with their superhero show. I mean, that's their second officially. They have The Boys and This, which Seth Rogen produces both, by the way. I don't want to compare because they're very different, both of them. But I might like this even more than The Boys, to be honest. Because it's... For me, it's a good feel because for me, when I watch The Boys, it's the anti-Marvel, the anti-Disney product, you know? Raunchy, it's violent, it curses, you know, like it's all over the place. The opposite of Marvel. But this here, 
I feel it's a nice in between, like in the world of superheroes that you see in the MCU or the DC universe, for example, but like with a more kind of realistic approach, being more violent and everything. It's not like they curse or anything, but like I, I, I like I feel the R rating, the R rating is deserved but they don't abuse it they just use it when it's very necessary and i appreciate that like it's very well balanced great show i just can't wait to see more I just i just can't wait to see more it's just like everything's there everything's there three episodes five left almost halfway already that those goes fast Anyway, that was my reaction for episode 3 of Invincible. Please tell me what you thought about it in the comment below. Give this video a like, subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at NeuroAlex. Check out fully watch on reactions on Patreon. Join my Discord and check out my merch. Thank you again for watching this. I am NeuroAlex. Until we meet each other again, guys. Stay safe.